Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Jun, I can hear you very clearly. All right, in that case, Ms. Sunny, can you please perform a patient 2D image for the liver through the intercostal space? All right, to the intercostal space. I can obtain a very clear entire liver here. This is perfect. Can you show me the additional functions like the 2D shear wave? Sure. Could you please hold your breath for a second? Ms. Sunny, can you decrease the depth of the 2D image to concentrate on an optimal segment of the liver? All right, I'm trying. Thank you. Could you move the ROI box to an optimal area without any vessel structures? Okay. There we go. All right, please stop at this point and capture this image. Okay. At this point, the liver stiffness of this patient is 3.6 kilopascal. A patient with a liver stiffness of that value does not have a chronic liver disease. Great. I can also create a uh, more elasticity value here, number 8, and also 9. The system also provides very intuitive reports, which is called profile. Should I show you Dr. Jun? Yes, please. Let me have a look. As all values are within normal range, this patient is healthy. All right, thank you for your valuable comment. Ms. Sunny, let us do a detailed study of the patient using liver QUS functions. All right, Dr. Jimmy, should I start with the easy HLI? Yes, please. Could you take a deep breath for me? This is EGHLI with a very uh, HIV use and it provides very uh, intuitive measurement widget with the hepatorenal brightness. In this patient, I can see the number uh, with 1.1. Right. This value means that the patient has a normal liver. I am requesting remote control access now. Mm -hmm. Can you please approve it? All right, I'm trying. I just approved remote control access. All right, thank you. Now I have remote access to the control panel and the touch panel of the ultrasound system. Let me measure the tissue attenuation index remotely. Could you please change the view of the intercoastal area? All right, I'm just scanning intercoastal space here. All right, let me capture the image remotely. For TAI, I would have to click on the QUS button on the touch panel. And Ms. Sunny, can we please make sure the patient is holding his breath? Hold your breath for a second. Now when I click TAI, it will show the value of the liver attenuation. In this case, it is 0.65. This means that the patient does not have steatosis. Right. Okay, Jun, uh, do you want me to uh, show you TSI, which is scattering index? That will be awesome, Miss Sunny. Thank you. All right. I will just click the TSI button. To measure this TSI, we need to click on the TSI button here and then the system automatically gives you the scattering index 
in this patient, I can see the number uh, with the 78. Right. With these TAI and TSI values, it means that the patient does not have a fatty liver. Thank you, Ms. Sunny, for your kind support. Thanks for your guidance.